We are now ready for the upgrade, but there are some things I would really recommend you do up front because I don't like bad surprises. Now let's start with verifying your current operating system. Very easy. You go right up here, click the Apple, about this Mac. This one is already on Yosemite, but it doesn't mean I cannot download Yosemite and put it on another disk if I want to. Now yours might say Mavericks or something else. As a matter of fact, let's talk about that. There are a lot of different operating systems out there. They go back to 1984. Let's not go back that far. Let's start with Leopard. You've got Leopard, you got Snow Leopard, you got Lion, you got Mountain Lion, then you got Mavericks, and of course, Yosemite. Can I upgrade to Yosemite from all of these? And the answer is no. If you own Leopard, you cannot do it. Why? Because the operating system must be purchased from the App Store. Actually, it's a free download, but you have to get it from the App Store. Leopard actually costs money, but it wouldn't update because you don't have the App Store. You need at least Snow Leopard. So let me give you a way maybe to get that if you still are on Leopard or earlier. In order to get to Yosemite from Leopard, I need Snow Leopard. So where do you get it? Well, it's on the Apple Store. But if you're not sure where in Apple, you can go into Safari like I've just done and type in Snow Leopard Operating System. And here it is right here. 1999 in US and a nice cute image of a leopard with snow on it. You are going to need this. So let's say you get it. Now there is one more thing to understand about using Snow Leopard. The first version of Snow Leopard that came out did not have access to the App Store. It needed an upgrade, which was there and that part was free. So step number two, in my opinion, is make sure that your operating system, whichever one you're using, is upgraded. Now you can go right back up here about this Mac and click right here. And if there are any upgrades, do it. So your system is as good as it can be. Now another problem, and that is can your computer handle Yosemite? Now for that, we can go back to the internet. I'm back in Safari, Apple.com. I'm going to come over here and click the little magnifying glass and type in something like how to upgrade. And I'm going to come down here. How to upgrade to Yosemite, exactly what I want. Here you go. There's your hardware. That works. Anything earlier doesn't. So make sure you have the right equipment before you do this. Check your hardware. That's step number three, actually. Let me get out of here. Software compatibility is something you are going to have to check out based on what you use. So if you use Apple products, go apple.com, make sure they're Yosemite capable, you get the idea, HP, whatever it is. Software compatibility is step four. Step five is diagnostics. I want a healthy drive here. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go into my main drive and I'm going to go to applications. I'm going to go all the way down to utilities and I'm going to go into disk utility. Now that's been around for a long time. That's going to gather information on all my existing drives. Now let's say I'm running Mavericks and I want to just drop Yosemite on top of Mavericks using the same disk, which is actually fine. That would be this one up here, say. If I come over here and select it, Number one, I want to make sure this disk is okay and I'm going to repair it. Now this should only take a second if there's no problems. So I cross my fingers. This volume appears to be okay. You want to do that. The other one, if you go down to the image, you can repair disk permissions. There's a lot of controversy on that. There are a lot of people that say you should never do that. It wouldn't be there if it didn't work. I would suggest doing that. So now you know you have a healthy drive. Now, if you're going to do what I do sometimes, and that's put the operating system on a brand new disk, like say this one right here, what I would do is select it and erase it. Start out clean slate. Up to you. Now, let's go ahead and get out of here. I just want to mention one more thing. And that one more thing is this. Before you do the actual upgrade itself, back it up. We're going to have a chapter on how you do stuff like that. Time machine, etc. I don't want any surprises. Now, I will admit, since 1984, when I started working with Macintoshes and upgrading the operating system, I can honestly say I have never, ever had a problem with the upgrade if I follow through these steps. Never had a problem. If I did, I'd have the backup to help me. If you go through these steps, 
verifying your current operating system, checking to see if you have one that can be updated, checking for updates and make sure that the operating system you're currently on is indeed up to date, checking for hardware compatibility, checking for software compatibility, doing diagnostics, and then backing it up. Trust me, it is a smart thing to do, because now if anything were to happen, no surprises. Now, our next step is actually the last step, which is actually the boring step, and that is actually doing the install. 